Hello everybody. I am so excited to share another project for Finnebear's creative team. If you are not subscribed to this YouTube channel, I highly recommend uh, subscribing and hitting the bell and turning on all notifications. So many wonderful projects are put up on this YouTube channel and you do not want to miss any. All right, so I am going to start off by adding black gesso to this metal clock here. And of course, all of the supplies are going to be listed down below. So be sure to check the description box if you are wanting any of the products I am showing um, in this video. So I am using the heavy black gesso from Finnebear, the Art Basics. It's very thick and it goes on really nice and smooth. I don't really have to add a ton of different layers. Um, it's just, it's a really nice gesso, um, black gesso. It reminds me of like that hot fudge when you go to like a yogurt place and you can have the hot fudge drizzled all over. It reminds me of, it's kind of like that consistency. That's what it reminds me of. All right, so I am going to add black gesso to all of my embellishments. When doing a project like this, it's really, it's a lot easier to add gesso to everything first and then um, then put everything together. Like do you, you know, uh, put all the embellishments on your project. I do probably more embellishments than I actually use on my project. Uh, that way I'm not kind of, I'm not, um, scrambling to try and paint something at la last minute or anything like that. Um, I try and do a few extra just in case. So I have some uh, metal pieces from Finnebear here. I have a resin piece, a resin frame from uh, Prima, um, a stop, a clock, what is that, stop, no, a pocket watch, <laughs> and uh, some other metal pieces from Finnebear as well. And uh, some of the gears are chipboard pieces, just random, that I have in my stash. So I'm going to add black gesso to all of them. And the paintbrush that I am using is a Finnebear paintbrush. I absolutely love her paintbrushes. And here I am painting the pocket watch there. I'm going to continue to add black gesso to everything and I will be back shortly. start adding all of the embellishments and build up my composition uh, and find my focal point build up to my focal point I should say uh, it's really important in a project like this that you add different layers uh, that way when you at when you are adding the wax at the end it the wax really makes everything stand out and then you have that really um, dark I guess darkness in the back of your project because you add so many different layers so there is going to be lots of black underneath all of that really bright wax which is important because then you have a lot of depth to your project. All right so I am going to continue to add the embellishments. I think that some of Frank Garcia's new molds uh, if you use like resin or paper clay in them, I think they would look really good with the black gesso and the art alchemy wax on top of it. Um, also, Finnebear does have a mold where you can use resin or paper clay, um, whatever type of medium you like to use in molds and create different gears and cogs, I think they're called, uh, which is a really great uh, mold to have, uh, especially if you like using a lot of gears and different steampunkish things, um, because you can 
use the mold over and over and over again and get lots of uses out of it. Um, all right, so I am going to add some wire. This is just some cheap wire. I think I got either on Amazon or maybe, you know, a local craft store or something. Um, but it's very thin. I was just able to kind of bend it back and forth and it broke off. I think this just adds a little extra something, uh, especially when I'm layering different metal pieces on top of each other. I think it looks really cool, um, like it's kind of wired down. Um, I don't know, just something, something different. <laughs> All right, so I added the wire there, and then I'm going to add just the black gesso to it uh, because I don't want the, you know, the wire to be showing that color to be showing. And then I'm going to start adding more embellishments to this piece. Uh, as you're going to see here. Oh, first, <laughs> sometimes I forget what I do in what steps. All right, so I am adding uh, gesso as I am using my heat tool. I do this very often. I normally do it when I'm doing a project using white gesso, um, but this helps the gesso to get really thick and adhere really, uh, I guess, a lot faster to metal pieces um, or even like plastic, things like that, that um, it's kind of hard to add paint to. All right, so a lot of this is really sped up. Uh, so if you don't like this really fast pace, you can slow it down. You can use, or you can click on the little gear icon and you could slow it down. Although my voice will be a little bit distorted, um, but if you want to see a little bit slower speed, um, you can do so. If I slowed it down too much, this video would be way too long. And to be honest, watching somebody paint things black is kind of boring. And to me, um, I think the magic of this type of project is at the end uh, when I start adding all of the Art Alchemy Wax. All right, so to build up my focal point on this project, I started out in the center. And then now I'm going to add all of the gears to the sides. I'm not adding any to the top or the bottom. I just wanted the focal point to be in the center, kind of in the middle of the clock. So I am adding all of the embellishments and I do actually decide that I want some of them in different places. So that's kind of why I like to use liquid adhesive a lot of times because I am very indecisive and when you use liquid adhesive, then you can pull things up and move them around. Uh, if you were using like hot glue, although I don't really recommend using hot glue for a project like this uh, anyways, uh, then it's kind of, you know, stuck. Not really stuck, but you know, you know what I mean. It's, it's a little bit harder to pull up. Uh, liquid adhesive, whether it's Fabri-Tac, uh, heavy body gel, you have a lot of play time to kind of move things around where you want them. All right, so adding to all of the textures on this type of project, I am going to add some melange pebbles, which is one of my favorite things to add to any type of mixed media project. Oh, there's little Callie. <laughs> um, and I also have these like bolts or like screws. Uh, these are pretty old. I don't know if you're able to purchase them anymore, uh, but you can use any type of basically anything on this type of project. You can use fabric, you can use tissue paper, you can use, honestly, the sky's the limit uh, for this type of project because you paint everything black and then you add the wax and everything just comes to life. All of the different textures and different uh, embellishments and things that you add to your project. All right, so I am using, I don't know if I said this already, but I'm using uh, Indian Pink <clears throat> and Firebird at first, and then I got a little adventurous and used Peacock. So I tend to use only two colors in all of my projects, whether I'm making a card, a scrapbook layout, or a project like this. So I wanted to incorporate a third uh, color just to kind of get out of my comfort zone because I know for myself I tend to do what uh, is comfortable to me and to grow as a artist or a crafter uh, you definitely have to step out of your comfort zone. 
I kind of like the two colors, the Firebird and the Indian Pink, um, a little bit more than when I added the Peacock, but it's okay. I still really love the project. And honestly, if I really don't like it in the end, I can just start all over, paint it black again and add whatever colors I want. I would love to know what your favorite color combinations are. So leave a comment down below and I would love to see what colors you guys like to use. All right, so uh, a little tip is when you're adding the, uh, the wax to this type of project, you really want to be very light-handed, very lightly brush over all of the embellishments and all of the different textures because it's really easy to add too much sometimes and you really want the black to show through. That's what gives all, all of that depth and dimension on this type of project. Um, and when you go too heavy-handed, again, you add a little bit too much and it's easier to add a little bit more than to take away. Um, although again, I can, you know, you could add uh, black gesso to the whole project again um, if you wanted to, if you kind of added too much, but um, I'm really not doing it, uh, let's see, any rhyme or reason. I kind of just started out using pink towards the bottom and then kind of incorporated the orange, uh, kind of mixed them together a little bit here and there. Uh, I really didn't want it to be, I wanted a lot of color, I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, all right, so I am going to add a little bit of the wax to the sides. Uh, I think it would be really fun if I added some uh, like uh, paper texture paste with a stencil or something on the sides there, um, but I didn't. I did add some melange pebbles to the side um, and then on the top there, you could see that I added a little gear and another little metal piece just to add something extra to the, to the sides. It was looking a little bit boring. All right, so when I'm adding the peacock color, it really reminds me of uh, like a mermaid or something exotic, you know, mystical you would find in the ocean or something. Um, it's really fun and bright. Um, all of these colors together. All right, so that is basically going to complete this project. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to Finnebear's channel, I hope you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time that there is a video uploaded. Here is a look at my project. Uh, also, leave a comment down below. I personally love reading your comments. I um, will try to respond and come back to this YouTube channel. Um, and if there's any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and I will catch you guys later. Bye.